Here we are on post five. Again, the foot position is similar to uh, where it was before. I'm, a, I'm addressing the trap house straight on. I feed at about a 45 degree angle. Post five for a right-hander is considered, most right-handers consider this to be their most difficult post. Just as post one is the most difficult typically for a left-hander because a right-hander has to turn against himself and a left-hander over there has to turn against himself. So post five is not a difficult post for me, not as much as number one. So I hold quite a bit inside the right corner uh, of the house, uh, probably about 10, 15 degrees inside the right corner. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's hard to visualize. This gives me all kinds of room to go over here, to go up for a straightaway, to come straight over here. That's post five. One other thing you might have noticed is that I keep my elbow parallel, my, my upper arm parallel to the ground. Let me show you that one more time and I'll tell you why, why that's a good thing to do. If you have your elbow out parallel to the ground, it causes you to swing levelly. Uh, this is, a, you want to swing as level as possible. You don't want to loop the gun. Let me show you what happens if you have your elbow down, which you will see shooters that do this, and it typically causes them a problem. This is what happens if you have your elbow down. Say you're like this, and you get an angled target. You, you have a tendency to want to loop your gun over to get it, or you'll lift it up like this to get it, rather than come across on a level plane. Whenever your arm is down, it causes that shotgun, maybe even ever so slightly, to loop or to pick up on the other side. And that will cause you to miss a target. It doesn't take much. So if you keep that elbow level with the ground, always remember the last thing you do when you mount the gun, head down, looking down the barrel, elbow up, so you swing levelly. <laughs> levelly, that's, not a, that's a lovely word. The, at least swing on an even plane. All right?